when I was pulling together all of the new guns for this year, one of the things that made me really happy was to see some new rimfire offerings. This year we've got a trio of 22s and you know, anybody who shoots at all knows that the most fun you can have with a gun is putting just round after round after round of rimfire downrange. And we've got kind of three flavors of options for people, sort of depending on what it is you're looking for. Sort of at the high end, we've got this new offering from CZ. It's the 457 MTR you know, for match target rifle varmint. And uh, that kind of gives you a sense of how it's configured. You can see that it's got a big kind of beefy target style stock there, super comfortable, it has this nice stippling on it, cut in there by laser, big broad beaver tail forend, um, thick stout heavy barrel, and it's got just this great 457 action. I've always loved CZ's actions for all of the you know nice metalwork and machining that goes into them. They, they've got this just great old school kind of feel. But if you've worked with CZ a lot, you know, being goofy Europeans, one of the things they always got backwards, literally, was the safety on their guns. It was always um, cranking it to the rear to fire. And as every real American shooter knows, that's just not how it's done. Well, CZ decided to fix that, and they're actually making kind of a big deal. So forward fire, you know, they're finally uh, joining the civilized world in terms of how we actually like to shoot. And what we've ended up with is just a lovely, super accurate um, plinking gun. I could not get this gun out of my friend's hands while we were putting it through the paces. And once I got behind the trigger, I totally understood why. Everything on this just cycles flawlessly. It feeds perfectly. Um, the recoil is barely noticeable and it's a tack driver. You know, there's nothing not to like about this gun. Uh, it comes in about eight pounds, you know, which you kind of expect a slightly heavier gun. And this is also a gun you could frankly run in some of the longer range rimfire competitions that are out there. Had a really nice crisp trigger and uh, costs about 750 bucks, although on the street it's gonna certainly go for a little less. And it's fed by a, a nice, five round single stack magazine. Again, just a flawless performer out here and uh, just one of the nicest new rim fires you're gonna, you're gonna seek. In the middle here, this is one of the more interesting uh, new offerings. This is Winchester's Wildcat. This is probably about as good a kid's first 22 as you're gonna find out there. It is a very lightweight at about three pounds, 14 ounces, um, simple, reliable 22. It's a semi-auto. It's fed by a 10 round magazine that's reminiscent of a Ruger 1022 style magazine, but it's got some features on here that actually make it really easy to load, which is, which is very welcome. And it sort of has this uh, sort of kind of next level sort of styling. You know, as a guy who likes kind of fine guns, not really my taste, but you know, I'm not the target market for it, so the kids are probably going to love it. Now, the price on this, super attractive, 250 bucks, um, so very attainable. So it comes with a little uh, Picatinny sized uh, rail up there for mounting an optic, but it also has a, a nice, very simple, functional kind of peep sight that uh, that it that it comes with as well. And again, for the price, you really you really can't beat it. Now, this is kind of in the middle of those two. This one is a, a performance center. You know, it's called a performance center TCR. So this is kind of a sort of interesting branding on this thing. So it's from, you know, Smith & Wesson and Thompson Center owned by the same company. The performance center is part of a, a, a division of Smith & Wesson where they make sort of their higher end firearms. And so they've kind of uh, come out with this as a TC performance center offering. This comes in a couple different grades. This is one of the higher grades. You know, there's a synthetic stock version as well. This one runs a little bit over 600 bucks. Not cheap, but a, uh, but a pretty nice gun for the money. The stock, really comfortable, ergonomic, at least for a right-hander, thumb hole stock, good laser cut stippling on it. 
um, broad forend for riding on the bags nice and easy. Again, takes the, the 1022 style magazines. This one, um, you know, one of the little dings on it, in my opinion, is that the magazine's a little hard to load that first round with. It takes a bit of practice to do that, but once you kind of figure that out, it uh, goes smoothly from there. So fairly ergonomic, semi-auto, comes with a uh, threaded barrel up there, so if you want to put a suppressor up there and uh, quiet it down, you've got that option. Weighs about seven pounds, so you know, a little heavy for a, for, a, for a kid, but for shooting off bags, for steadiness, for uh, just kind of recoil management, a great option. So this kind of rounds out that trio. Again, it's a, it's a good year for uh, fans of Rimfire. I'm super, super happy to, uh, you know, see some new product in this market because, you know, that is the most all-American, most fun cartridge you can shoot. Thank <laughs> you.